Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series that we're playing. We are going to be playing Satellite Rain. This game is due for early access release on Steam on the 11th of December, so that'll be, what, about three days after this video goes live? So, yeah, pretty soon. The game is ridiculously fun. The game is basically, it's a real-time class-based strategy game. So, think of, sort of like, XCOM, it's not turn based though, so like a real time XCOM where you can uh, command your units indiv individ individually and you can set them up in cover and they can shoot from cover etc. The game's great, the game is so much fun. So basically you're in this living, breathing cyberpunk world and uh, ignore the little arrow for now. Actually, yes, we shall go into the map, because that's what it wants us to do. And you can see this decent sized map, it's like, it's... This map is the entirety of the first district, as far as I recall, there's going to be four districts. They have a quest system, a um, vehicle system, the map's missing some icons, but that's fine. See, the key's kind of meh. But it is early access, and there is a game here which is a lot better than some of the early access games that I've seen lately that have basically been proof of concepts more or tech demos more than anything actually playable. But yes, I've I've done this PlayStation thing about six times. Like, not because the game doesn't include any saving because but because I just like kept doing it so I, I don't know why I kept doing it. I just enjoy it. Um it's just one of those things that you just go over and over and over until you get it perfect. Um, right, okay, sorry, let me let me come back to the game. Right, this is a let's play, not a preview studio. Right, so, um, basically the pointy arrows are basically telling you what to do. This is the tutorial system that is in place right now. There is a couple of screens, you can actually get them up by clicking on the question mark. And it tells you all the control keys, etc. Um, basically what all the icons mean. Uh, what these things above people's heads mean and how to take cover and what's needed and yeah it's great. Okay so to get a mission what you do is you come into your map, the game still plays like while you're in your map, while you're in all your settings and things, the game's still moving, the, the world's still simulating Um, like shit isn't just paused because you've decided to look at a map so yeah we'll uh, we'll start off by reading what's going on Agents, it's time to hit the red light district. We're deep in the heart of the city here and it's the best place to get started. No one calls the cops around here, they're not that type of scum. The rich folks who slum here don't want to draw attention and the folks who live here and work here full time know what happens if they talk to the police. No one wants to draw heat to the local black market, no one wants to drag outside trouble into their favourite club and no one wants to be the one who disrupts the natural order. Folks want to come here, have their fun and get out. The Dracogenics presence here is mostly a group called the Wervins, or the Wyverns. I always call it, I always said Wer Wervin as a kid. I suppose Wyvern. Ugh, popular culture has got me saying Wyvern, so let's go with that one. Their mercs are gangers turned corpsec, handling the dirty work in the red light district, because Dracogenics proper can't be bothered. Everything's for sale in the red light district, even, or especially, information. If we cough up the cash, I can get us some good intel. Eh, uh, no. Police station. Bad news, our muscle's been taken. We have to get them back if we're going to have a chance in the heavier firefights that are sure to come. Worst news? The bastards are holding prisoners in a transmission blocking cell. It's a standard security protocol to cut off external communications and the ability to coordinate escape attempts and the ability to coordinate bug report. The ability to coordinate escape attempts and that sort of things. Sort of thing, studio. Learn to read. But in our case, without even knowing it, the cell is also keeping us from just uploading and flash cloning to replace our soldier. We've got to hit this police compound before they've transported our heavy hitter off to the main prison facility, or worse, just kill him. Surprise, surprise, we found a dirty cop. We pony up some cash, he'll spill his guts about a few security blind spots in the holding facility, which could really help us out with our little jailbreak. So we will set the ping and it tells us that we are heading over this way to get our friend back. So let's go. So yes, normally you have four troops and in this section we've only got one. Um, one little bug that kind of bugs me, a little bug that bugs me indeed, 
is um, you can move your mouse off of the uh, like it's not bound to the window, which really annoys me. Um, it's just it's one of these things. The game has been Unity. There's um, there's quite a few Unity games coming out lately. I've noticed, but yeah, they all have this same bug. <laughs> uh, you move your mouse and it doesn't. It's not like attached to the window, which is very. It's like with this being a tactical game, it's very inconsequential. These guys here are coppers. You can tell because they get like that extra bar and they've got guns. <laughs> kind of the biggest giveaway there. Um, but as long as you're in incognito mode and you don't have any wanted stars, you should be fine. Um, they don't seem to care about the fact that number three here is running around with a sniper rifle on his back. Number three is a recon or sniper or whatever the fuck he's called. The little yellow bars you see there are stamina, the red bars are of course health, and they get little green bars above the stamina that indicate their experience. <clears throat> stamina runs out very quickly, uh, so you want to maintain your stamina for like quick short bursts of sprint. Right, so what we're doing is this, this here is the police compound as you can see with the ping and the fact that on our minimap it's red, meaning we should not be in there. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sneak around the back. This was actually one of the first things I'd done, was actually, like, have a little look around because I knew it was probably a stupid idea trying to hit a police station from the front. So the first thing I'd done was sneak around and these little green elevators transport you from place to place. I don't know why they've made little green elevators and not, like, a climbing system where you can just climb your guys over walls. But, you know, that's what they've done, so I suppose that's what they're sticking to. So as you can see we've got a security camera there, there is a security camera down here and a security camera right there and a security camera there. So we kind of need to watch that if we're going to do this like a little stealth in uh, a little self extraction. But I know exactly what to do as I have been here before in another life. So let's move all our men there and we want to grab number th 4 rather who is our hacker. And I appear to have just, just missed the, uh, the cut off for that. Let's get you in cover. Let's get you out of the way. Let's get you in cover. Let's uh, pace, 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 pace. Right, we made it. We made it past there, and we want to get you there. Can you please, woman? Okay, just, just sit here. Sit behind. No, no, no. Sit there. Jesus Christ. Right, so the next thing we want to do is scan around, make sure we can't see any cops, and hack this. By hacking this, we uh, turn off all of the cameras, and we will get him down there to hack that, and we will sprint these here. Come on, pace yourself, hacker. You're the one that I'm waiting on. And you need to be quick, because the cameras will turn back on if you're not. Alrighty, so that opens up there for a limited period of time and it means that we can get our hacker in there to retrieve our muscle man. And we'll just shove these guys here for now, just in case a cop decides he wants to come round the corner. There we go, we've hacked the facility and we've got a prototype plasma pistol out of it and the best thing, we've got our uh, heavy muscle who comes fully packed with three grenades. I think that's three grenades. I've never actually used the grenades. So basically all I've done, I didn't want to spoil anything of the game for myself. I just wanted to know if it was enjoyable to play basically. Um, and if there seemed like enough content that I could make a series out of it. And there does. Uh, one thing we can do is if we press the Y key we can go into scan mode and you can see these power nodes that take power to different places, etc, etc, and you can see who are the bad guys and who are not the bad guys. Right, so let us pop everyone down here. Sometimes the pathing is a bit squirrely, uh, also the cars are a bit squirrely. We should be able to sprint everyone through right now. Alright, that seems to have worked for us. Okay, we should be able to move everyone around here now. See, there's a cop here, so we don't want to mess with him. Force bri- oh, we could have bribed him with our support. Ah, so that's another way you can do it. You could probably bribe that guy to uh, 
to give you access into this place. Right, he's moving around there, so let's do that. Let's grab our hacker and get her to... Uh oh. Shit. Okay, okay. Weapon's hot. Hack it quickly. Right, sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh shit, I thought I got... I thought I got through there alright. Okay, okay, okay. We don't have any heat on us, we managed to kill the- Oh, whoa, 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 where are you going? We managed to kill the guy before he, uh, he radioed for backup, so he ain't got any heat on us. So, that worked out okay, that's not the best that I've done it, normally I get out there without any hitch. But, that was fine and some people got some experience, so, GG. Right, next thing we want to do is... Okay, excellent work. Looks like the band's back together. Our agent managed to also get their hands on a prototype weapon on the way out. It's up to you. But you can either send it off to the team in the research and development department and see if they can figure out how to mass produce the weapon, or you can give it to one of your agents right away. Be warned though, we only have one prototype. If your agent is killed in the field with that weapon, we'll need to find out how we can get our hands on another one. Okay, so the next thing... Basically, you can just choose what you want to do. Um, I kind of fancy doing the bank, but I feel like we might need a bit more power behind us for that. We could do the surveillance authority. Droid repair, parts and storage. What's this? Grown industry is owned and operated by the Russian faction. Actually, you know what? I know. I do want to do the city surveillance because I read something cool on that one before. CSA, the City Surveillance Authority, always watching over you. Controlled by Eternals. The CSA control most of the surveillance infrastructure for the city. Central command compounds can be found in each city district. Most, if not all, information gets funneled through these stations. Breaking into this facility will let you disrupt the cameras for the entire district. You're likely to find some tech which the support and hacker agents would love to play with. The support agent will try to find anyone in the facility that can be bribed to either join our cause or become an informant for us. Make sure you send a support agent in here. We believe there is an, an Eternals employee we can persuade to become a contact. Will lead to lots of side quests and information drops from the Eternals faction. Okay, set the ping and let's do this. So what we're going to be doing is, while we're heading our way over here, is we also want to be checking out any ATMs that we can find because we can add trackers to the, or add um, our own little hacks to the ATMs which will allow us to siphon money from the ATMs every second. So that's pretty badass. I don't know why he's not following us. I think he's done. He doesn't care anymore. Okay, I don't know why I wanted to do that, but we've done it. So, yep, that's a thing. Right, let's get going. Let us get going. And going to keep our eyes out for any ATMs that we might see along the way. I wonder if there's anywhere to shop around here. Seems like there might be. Can't see any ATMs. Where's our ping? Alright, okay, it's over here to the right. As long as we just watch out. Excuse me? I don't know where they're going. Okay, they wanted to go up and round this way, apparently. Ah, it's down here that you use those things to re-equip your guys, etc. And to do basically everything. Ah, there we go, there's an ATM. So we shall come over here and we shall send our hacker over there. You can jump in cars, but the cars are a bit squirrely. So we could jump in this car here, as you can see with the down arrow. They're a bit squirrely and like the last time I tried them, they weren't very great for my poor character. Ah, that's a shit ATM. It's only getting us 0.3. Ah, right, okay, so we can come over here and we can erect this thing. Okay, what's this place? Is this a place we'll try to get into? I don't think so. Can I get everyone else here, please? Thank you. And you can finish erecting that. Miss Hacker Lady. And this thing kind of acts as a shop type re-equipper. So basically if you want to check your loadouts on any of your characters, you need to come into this bit. 
you can check, that's that was their augmentations by the way, you can check their gear. So you can supply them with medipacks or grenades. You can check their weapons, so we can equip that plasma pistol to someone, we can buy new weapons for people. Uh, you can clone them if cloning was in the game, but it is not right now. And you can check their skills. Hacking. So, with this we can purchase another level of hacking. Um, SP, I don't, I don't understand. XP, SP, what happens if I purchase? Oh, right, okay, we had one... We had one SP and I just spent it. Alright, so for the sniper, Master Thief allows the infiltrator to utilise zip lines around the city, reducing the risk of setting off alarms when injecting into facilities. I like that, but he doesn't have any SP. Oh, none of them have any SP. It was only my hacker that had SP. Okay, that's cool. So we can go to research and we can click the plasma pistol and click research and it will start to research it. It will cost us 3,000. It will be completed never because we have no scientists and no doctors. The minimum is one scientist, so if we add a scientist, which we can't do, Oh, okay, let's remove a scientist. There we go, so we've got one scientist, he costs us $6 a second. And he will research it in 20 minutes. There you go, you can see our money swiftly draining. So we'll need to run around and try and find some more ATMs that we can earn some casholas from. So let's uh, keep trying to find our way to the ping, whilst also robbing any ATMs that we come across. The heck is that? Is that a dude? Oh it is, right okay. I can see he's got his arms crossed and he's just staring, but he's glowing a strange radiation green. Anyway, we're going to call it an episode there guys, so as always, thanks a lot for watching, I've been Stejo and you have been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.